grace. You served my grandson nobly in his final days. You are the man that taught me how to be king. Will you honor me, your grace? Just five days. You went from being another man in Jairus' court to the second most powerful man in the realm. I wonder, how long did it take you to choose yourself over your king? You're great. If those shipping lanes should fall, it will beggar our ports. The Crown has heard your report, Lord Corliss, and takes it under advisement. Whatever it is, it needs to be kept quiet. And I promise you, in time, you and I together will prevail. Your own lady wife passed recently. Did she not? I found myself thinking of your own mother today. Perhaps you aren't ready to move on just yet. I, uh dearly loved my own lady wife. The pain of her passing still haunts me. My darling. And to be compelled to replace her for duty's sake. You are the king, but I do not envy you. How is his grace? I'm very low. I thought you might go to him, offer him comfort. In his chambers. I brought you something. You'll be glad of a visitor. The time is coming, Alicent. Either you prepare Egon to rule, or you cleave to Rhaenyra and pray for her mercy. We mustn't ignore the certain truth that if Rhaenyra were to step over Aegon to ascend the throne, the realm would tear itself apart. The realm will not accept her, and to secure her claim, she'll have to put your children into the sword. She'll have the joy. The road ahead is uncertain, but the end is clear. Aegon will be king. Beacon on the high tower. Do you know what color it glows when Old Town pulls its balance to the wall? Green. You think yourself a cunning man. Your designs are obvious. Do you wish to have your blood on the Iron Throne so badly that you are willing to destroy mine own? A loyal hand must tell his king a discomforting truth from time to time, Your Grace, if he doesn't. He's failed as a servant. You were a faithful servant, Toto. The crown and the realm, both owe you a debt, can never be repaid. If Rhaenyra comes into power, your very life could be forfeit. Eamon's as well. She could move to cut off any challenge to her succession. Then I will shut You are the challenge! You are the challenge, Egon! Simply by living and breathing! I've never seen that side of you, my daughter. I even doubted its existence. It was an ugly thing, I regret it. We play an ugly game. And now, for the first time, I see that you have the determination to win it. Our beloved king, Viserys the Peaceful, is dead. But it is also the most joyous. You told me you wish for Egon to be king. For as his spirit left us, he whispered his final wish that his firstborn son, Egon, should succeed him. <laughs>